Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about pitch bend. Um, we'll be talking about how to pitch bend a MIDI clip and how to pitch bend um, the actual entire track or um, an audio track, but you could, you could do it for the entire track as well. So um, if you know really about how to pitch bend things, and I would say it's actually classed as something that's kind of beginner to intermediary, fairly basic. If you really know about how to do that, this is probably the time to switch this video off and move on to other activities. But if you'd like to learn more or you'd like to know how I do it, um, stick around. So basically I've got this song, released it quite a while ago, but um, I wanted just to use it to demonstrate pitch bend on MIDI clip and on the audio. Just playing the start of it and it will just build up a little bit and just builds up more. Kind of, kind of minimalist, but we've got this little MIDI clip in here, which is kind of like a weird sort of guitar solo. We've put an overdrive on it. Okay, so we've got that going, and it just remove some of the effects that are on it. Okay, so we just double click on the MIDI, and what you do normally when you double when you double click on MIDI. This is what you get. You get um, um, on the clip. You'll get the actual clip itself and the notes for the clip. What, what is normally hidden from view when you open a clip is this little button here called the envelope box. And so we want to open the envelopes or make it appear visible to people. Um, and there is the envelopes. Okay. Now the first thing you'll see is um, by default it will. Um, give you some options in, in terms of your envelopes and um, the first thing you have is sort of MIDI control. You, could, you can actually mess around with some of the other effects or even some of the mixer values um, in here um, but um, the automation itself for MIDI isn't available on a MIDI track which is kind of weird but um, you've got mixer and you've got the plugins but you can't really automate um, any controls in terms of MIDI, but you can here. Okay, so what we want to do is control now automate the pitch bend. Um, you've got these other things that you can also do the same thing to, for example, pan volume balance. But we're going to just stick to MIDI uh, to pitch bend. And what you see here is this blue line, and this blue line is kind of your pitch equilibrium. It's just your straightforward pitch. So what we'll do is we'll just listen to it again. Okay, so they are two, those first two bits there are two uh, notes, okay? Very long held notes. So if we keep click on the uh, pencil up here, um, this is a, a bar that's broken up into lots of little bars and it will just basically, um, you can, reduce the amount um, or reduce the pitch basically of that note so even though it's a single note you will reduce the by just by going downwards you're actually bringing the pitch of the note down this is a midi note downwards so let's just listen to this so you hear that builds up and you can actually go right down to the bottom just to make a more obvious sort of sounding effect Okay, that's one note, but it sounds like a bit more is happening on that note, if that makes any sense. And you can just do the same on the second note, you can do the same on the third note, etc. You can so you can start downwards and gradually build up the pitch. I mean it sounds a bit weird, but you, that's basically it. And obviously you can also um, increase the pitch and you can go mental here really just go all the way up to the end and you could do it in the middle you can do it wherever you want but listen to this right so there you go so the other thing you do is just clearly uh, you can just clear the envelope and the reason I'm doing that now is because I want to what I'm going to do is just take the whole thing the whole um, clip, most of the clip actually. And if you right click on the clip, you can use these sort of uh, basic, these shapes that um, 
you get with Ableton version 10 and there you go and you can just um, if you press shift you can just move it down it's kind of gradual movement downwards if you don't press shift the whole thing will kind of move which is maybe you want that so let's listen to that and obviously you've got different types of choices you can lift it all the way up If you're doing things like risers, that's kind of useful and very helpful. So that's MIDI uh, pitch bending, and I think that's it for MIDI pitch bending. So what we're going to do now is we go towards the end of the song. Let's listen to it a little bit. Let's just take that little bit there of the song. Um, just loop that by pressing Control and L. And just create a... Um, what I'm doing now is I am going to... Basically, I'm going to try to um, pitch bend an audio track. But I'm going to try and pitch bend actually the whole, the whole, um, tr the whole song. Actually, um, it's the same thing. Pitch bending an audio track is the same thing as pitch bending the whole song, as long as that whole song is on an audio track. So what I'm going to do here is click on audio track, resampling, and. That will just literally just take everything that you hear there and record it. So let's just record it here. Let's play it. It would help if you if we armed the arrangement record button. Okay, so there it is, and um, we'll just solo that. So, just actually bring that back to there. So what you have here is a audio track. You want to enable envelope just like we did before. Um, and then we want to, I'm just trying to find it, yep, transposition. So on the clip itself, you want to go to transposition. And there is that blue line again. Okay, so let's um, select the whole clip. Up there, and we'll just put a notch in there, and we just drop it all the way down like that. I mean, it's pretty harsh, so what you can do is just put another nodule in there, and we remove this nodule by double clicking, or well, clicking once actually. Maybe still too harsh, so just bring that up to there. So there you go, girls and boys. There's pitch bending on the entire track. And you can obviously see, you know, there's probably potentially a lot of great uses for this. Um, I mean, it's, as a break, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, you don't have to do it on the entire track. You can resample uh, specific parts of the track. Um, but uh, that's it, boys and girls. That's pitch bending in MIDI and pitch bending on a sample.